Yes, guys, so PTTP here in Bury St. Edmunds. We are here at the police station. Um, so, yeah, we're going to come and have a look around. So, I've got disabled parking down here. We've got this vehicle parked illegally on double yellows right outside the police station. This is odd. That's not good. Um, yeah, so we've got a couple of dis disabled parking bays. And then we've got a private car park down here. It's £3 parking all day. It doesn't look like anybody's there to enforce it. Interestingly, all these parking bays are uh, blocked off. Uh, yeah, so I've been out with LNA today and uh, he's had to get home to the kids and stuff, so I thought I would stop here on the way home. So I don't think this is part of the police station, this is uh, Albany House, whatever that is. So I've got some construction going on around the back there. Yeah, and this takes you around to the police car park. Interesting. So it's all fenced off, can't really get to anything, but we've got this one here, which is interesting. So they've got an electric van, which is a commercial vehicle unit. Again, not really sure what a commercial vehicle unit is or what it does, so if anybody does know, Feel free to let me know, but yeah, they've got an electric van. Got an unmarked uh, blue van. And uh, yeah, so this is a Suffolk marked police car. They don't have any silly slogans on the side like our priority is you, unlike Norfolk. Um, yeah, so we're going to go back up around the front and see if we can see any more from the car park on the other side. So this is a notice board. You've got a map of Bury St. Edmunds. And some information. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're open. Although it does say they're open Monday to Saturday 9 to 5. Now there we go, the station's not open on Sundays or bank holidays, so it is a bank holiday, so that'll be why. They have got PC 101 there, and they've got some Braille there for the heart of sight. About whether or not they're working for us. So, wide open gates, the signage says police vehicles only, no private vehicles, I'm not a vehicle. Interesting, Kestrel Suffolk Police, what's that about? they got cones in front of them. So what's the difference between a normal police vehicle and the Kestrel ones? West Kestrel vehicles only. Interesting. So this is uh, forensic services on this one, this van. Interesting. Ah, so this vehicle is actually from Norfolk Constabulary. This one isn't even uh, a Suffolk vehicle. So what's it doing here in Norfolk? Uh, in Suffolk. Maybe they've stolen it. 
That one's a Suffolk one. There we go, this one's another Norfolk one, look. It's interesting. So this is where uh, where they were, where I was earlier, around the other side of the fence. Look, that's the electric van that they had plugged in. And then they've got a fence here, we've got a vehicle pulling in. Interesting. So that's a Norfolk one. Oh wait, that's got Norfolk and Suffolk on it. So that's interesting. But yeah, I don't know why it's got Norfolk and Suffolk and why we've got Norfolk vehicles and that around in the car park in the Suffolk County uh, Police Station. But it's an interesting one. Excuse me. Oh yeah. Just making a little video of the marked vehicles now you got around, they're very interesting. Okay, well it's private property though, so you need to come off the, out of the car park, please. Okay, is it, is it illegal to be on private property? Well, it's police property, so you need to get off yeah. it, please. Is it, again, is it, is it illegal to be on police property? Yeah, I was going to be trying to Can you off. identify, please? Can you? Can I get your collar number, please? Fair enough, doesn't want to identify. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, I don't know what a commercial vehicle unit is, but obviously she doesn't want to talk. Uh, so this one looks like a very new van, very interesting. Uh, yeah. So again, they've... Uh, Got a no ID, no entry, no exceptions policy here, which is good. So they've got like a forensic van in the garage there and a police van up at the back. Got like a powerful Hoover. I think they should use that on the rural ones. They need a good clean. And there's a Norfolk police with their blatantly lying slogan their priority definitely is not us yeah really interested to know what the kestrel ones are what the difference is there but hi mate but yeah so it's interesting you can see this one doesn't have it on but this suffolk police one <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I don't know who that was, but he just said uh, said hello, very politely. You can see they're, they're all marked up with uh, diesel fuel only. So not only are we paying for the fuel, we're paying for dirty fuel. We're getting... Uh, diesel engine vehicles instead of unleaded. Unleaded is obviously still not good, but it's cleaner than diesel. An interesting number plate. So, yeah, it's weird, you know, obviously the car park is just so wide open, very accessible, obviously not for vehicles, but pedestrians, you know, anybody can just kind of rock in. You know, the only thing that's even an attempt to stop a pedestrian walking in is this yellow pillar, which isn't going to do much. Yeah, so I'm not sure where that 
unidentified police constable disappeared to. Yeah. Hiya. Can I help? No, I'm okay, thank you. Could well, you actually, yeah, actually, you can help. The constable has probably come and reported to you that I'm here. Re didn't identify when I asked him, so he come and told me that I need to that I need to leave because it's police property. Yeah. Trying to give me a lawful directive. <laughs> But refusing to identify. So if you can go get that constable and get them to come and identify to me, because if I want to go make a complaint against them now, how am I supposed to do make that? A complaint about? Well, that's up to me, isn't it? But how would I be able to do that if they if they don't identify so I can hold them accountable? Right, can I just point out there are clear signs there? Uh, Suffolk Constabulary, private parking for constabulary only. Am I parking? And there. Police personnel and official visitors only. Yeah, well, that, that looks like it's uh, it going into that wooded bit, that fence bit. No. That car park is private. Okay. So you can't actually wander around in there filming. Is it illegal to do that? Well, I'm not. It, the signs are clear, aren't they? But is it illegal to do it? I'm not going to stand here and argue with you. I'm not. I'm asking you a genuine question. Okay. No. Can you can you at least identify with your shoulder number for me, please? Got, my shoulder number's there. Uh, what if I can't read? You need to verbally identify, please. You can see my phone. Um, again, what if I can't read? What if I have? To, what if I'm you're dyslexic? Filming, you're filming me. What if I'm dyslexic? Can you verbally identify, please? It's in your policies. One, one, five, Thank you. It's that simple. And yourself? 1704. Thank you very much. See, that simple. First, first time I ask. That's how it needs to be done. Thank you. Appreciate that. Right. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm good. Slow yeah. Um, just so I know, did you turn your body cameras on? Yeah, I have turned mine on. Is, the is, when I was at the it, okay. Is there a reason that you didn't notify me that you turned them on? I don't have to notify you. Are you sure about that? Yep. Are you sure about that? You realise when you turn them on, you become a data controller under GDPR, and as a data controller, you need to. Uh, oh, mind the barriers, can hit you. But um, yeah, you realise that you know when when you turn your cameras on under GDPR, you have to notify data subjects that you're recording them. I have a right to access that body cam footage because I'm on it. How am I supposed to access that if Would I don't like know? To, if I grab some details from you, um, I'll let our Freedom of Information Act people know um, uh, that you're making a request in relation to that. Uh, potentially. How, how would I go about that? <laughs> I think I'm meant to grab some details from you along with some contact details. Is that how it works? Uh, it? Uh, and then what we'll do is I'll then let them have that. Okay. Um, and you can. You, you okay. Have you're correct. You're, you can yeah. request. Yeah, you're correct. Uh, I can do that. I, I can do that. But um, you you're using the wrong act. For, so it's not Freedom of Information Act. I'll have to okay. use a subject access request. Okay. Um, just so you know for future. Well, I do apologise. No. Obviously, you can understand as a police officer, we have mm -hmm. to be aware of an awful lot of acts. Sure. Um, sure, sure. Would you like to request for body one footage? I can do that in my own time. I'm not going to give my details over to you. Okay, <laughs> right, I can do that. With, uh, Is there anything else we can time. help you with today? Um, yeah, th as I said to this uh, constable, the initial constable that came and interacted with me refused okay. to identify so if you can get them to come and identify because I may wish to make a complaint against I them uh, yeah but, th but this, 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 you've been filming, so this yeah but this lady does would but you like to make a complaint? I, I would like to know their column number so I have the option to make a complaint if I need so to the, the, the officer mm -hmm. called up constable over the, constable well she's an officer constable she called up over the air yep and I'm sure that if you want to make a complaint she can be identified yeah but how Due to her role I don't have to identify for you. Every constable has to legally identify when they try to give right. directives to a member of the public. Her, and exactly, so I'm saying, can you go she's, get her? She's not here. But she refused to identify. Well, thank you so, very much for your time. And uh, I hope you have a good day. So you're time. just going to stand behind a blind, through, blind, uh, thin blue line and stick up your other officer, even though they acted I'm outside of their policy. The well, you are, because you're not, you're not, you're not going to hold, complaint. you're not willing to, take your details. you're not willing well, to you hold another officer accountable for wrongdoing. Yes, because you're obliged to in your policies. I'm not. That's it. Go stand behind your thick blue wall, thugs. Stand up for your other officers when they're doing wrong.
again. I'll go back around the car park, don't worry. Sorry, you're coming out. I'll move out your way. Oh, yeah, what are you doing here, mate? I'm good, thank you. I'm all right. Don't need any assistance. What are you doing here? I'm okay, thank you. I don't need any assistance. That's right, you're on land. You're, you're home, obviously then. in the car park. That's of course, I'm on land. I'm not floating. No. What are you doing here, though? Because this is where we keep all the private. This is a private car park, uh -huh. you see. Public entrance. I can show you around there. We can. Oh, I've already been up around there. Like I said, yeah, it's all publicly accessible. There's nothing stopping pedestrians from coming down here. It's all wide open. Came here to have a look at some of the marked vehicles, um, particularly that one. I'm really interested in the commercial vehicle unit. What does that mean? Oh, I, I, too much, you mate. You're not sure, sure no. I'm in the department. I'll be. I'd have Fair. a massive brain. But are, you, are you constables? Are you? Yes, I am, mate. Yeah. yeah. Are you right to just give your collar numbers, please, since you're interacting as a member of public uh, in plain clothes. That, mate. It's yep. 10, 12. 10, 12, thank you. Yourself. Thank you, that's lovely. Alrighty, have a All good right, day. Mate. Well, I'm going to go, obviously, no harm in your filming whatsoever because, cool. you know, you're not, it's not like you're trying to come through there at all. No, of course, I'm no, I won't, I won't go anywhere that obviously is restricted. I'm you just going to make sure that this isn't restricted though. Oh, I've had a look at the size, you know, there are private property I'm signs. Well, yeah, you do, yeah, you do that, that's all good. <laughs> Yeah, no worries, but yeah, so... Uh, no issue you're filming, obviously. Yeah. Thing. Obviously, being here, obviously, there are signs saying private property and that, but, you know, it yeah. becomes civil trespass, you know. It does. And, and there's, there's nothing... Like... There's nothing criminal about civil trespass, you know. No, I understand you know, that. I just so... want to make sure that everything's yeah. all cool as it should That's be. That's fine. Um, I did have... I did get approached by one constable when I was... Uh, I saw a vehicle pulling in, so I just wanted to get a shot of that. Oh, right. And they approached and asked what I was doing and told me I had to leave. So when, you know, as I asked you for your collar number, you gave it to me very I've promptly. I have got They ignored me and refused. So, oh, I, okay. but now, because I don't have their collar number, I can't complain. Right. She so went over the radio. Another constable came out and I said, can, they said, can you help? I was like, yeah, can you get the original constable to come and identify? Because I may wish to make a complaint. Mm. How can I do that if I don't know who they are? Mm -hmm. And they, they don't want to get involved. And I'm oh, like, nice. well, that's that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? You don't want to hold other officers accountable for their wrongdoing. I, I, can't, I can't come. I wasn't there. No, I know you weren't there, you know. But it's a bit, again, that's a funny thing. Like, I always get told that I can't come when I wasn't there. But the police love to use hypotheticals with us. But as soon as we use a hypothetical, they don't want to answer. Well, the thing is, I can't, imagine, I can't go by. I'm not there, but I wouldn't be right. No. Right there, and I wouldn't expect you to either. No, so no. But, so and what I, makes but, you feel these then out of interest? That's just a bit of a hobby really public interest you okay. know people like to know what we fund and you know what's going on with the with our services that we fund and yeah, yeah. to be fair know. yeah it's quite interesting there's a couple of schemes you can look at if you're interested there's like a ride along scheme yeah I've, got, I've been told you know that, that, that a lot yeah but the problem, I've not been on one so I don't yeah. know how good they are well the problem but... is it's like you know obviously we do like we, we film while we're here and we like to do public photography mm -hmm. and sometimes we don't get such nice interaction it should be very cordial oh, um, thank you. <laughs> so I appreciate that it's not always so pleasant unfortunately so we like to show what we see yeah um yeah. And I feel like if we go for the ride along, it'd be a great experience, but mm. uh, it would kind of feel like a bit of a dog and pony show. You know, like it's, it's, you're not it really seeing, sense. you're not really seeing the, the, the true nature behind how the officers may act because they know you're there. And obviously if they, if they know that we're recording and they know they're being observed, I see what you're saying. you know, right. observation changes the outcome. Um, yeah, I guess so, there's no sort of way around, around that. No, it? exactly. And that's why we like to do it candidly without be announcing that we're here. And actually we like mm. to see the honest way that police officers deal with the public. Right. And again, you've, you've been lovely. You know, I haven't had any issues with you. Yeah. So what makes you come to this station then? Just around the area, to be honest. Um, yeah. You could probably go to more interesting places. If you uh, but I'll go, I'll, from I'll go all over. No. Oh, no, okay. No. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but no, I'll go all over. So it's just, yeah, it's just in the area and just yeah. pop Which by. Which ones have you been to? Oh, uh, all sorts. Uh, honestly, there's uh, too many to list. Too many oh, to really? list. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. <laughs> not not just police stations, and all sorts of places. All sorts of places. I just do public photography and. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, so not not just police stations, but yeah, I go all over. So. Okay. Uh, How did you get into it? Um, it's an interesting one. Uh, just genuine, ge just general interest, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not gonna, not gonna give out too much information, you know. So I know you're like, you, 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 <laughs> you're, you're guising it as a enough. civil conversation. You're, you're but interested. I'm interested. Yeah, and that's fair enough. And that's fair enough. Uh, day, you know, if you find the videos on on the uh, online, then you'll yeah, be able to see. Enough. I do fair chat enough. about it a bit. No, that's right. But... I think all is, I think all is good here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, as you can, I'm sure yeah. you can understand. I just want to make sure because each area, obviously, there's a fence. I don't know what each, each area means. So I just want to make sure. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, fence, but the gates are open. No signs saying don't enter that. Well, I hope you enjoy your day. Have a good day. Bye Take bye. care. Bye. So, there we go, guys. Barry St. Edmund's a bit of a mixed bag so far. So two non-uniformed officers, constables, very lovely. Um, wanted to check, obviously, what they wanted to check. But the uniformed constables, not, not so good, really. Which is a shame. 
Um, so yeah, a bit of a mixed bag here at Berry. Oh, good job you got a case on it. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I didn't have a case on mine, or I cracked mine. Yeah, so yeah, capable of having a civil conversation and that with people if they're willing to do the same. Um, you know, and, and that's the difference, how, how they approach, you know, approach with a smile, approach with good body language, good attitude. It, it makes the world of difference as to how the interaction goes, you know. Um, world of difference. So yeah, we're going to head on and wrap it up there. But as always, guys, like, share, subscribe. Um, drop a comment, let me know what you think of Bury St. Edmund's police force. And I will see you on the next one.